Hey kids, it's Papa. Are you ready to explore the Bible? All right, turn to Joshua chapter 2. Joshua chapter 2. Now, <clears throat> this is an interesting story, one that uh, is it's kind of encouraging to us, but uh, we find that they came right to the Jordan River. Now, the very next thing was to cross over the Jordan River and then to conquer Jericho. Jericho was right there on the river, you know, pretty close to the river. And Jericho was kind of the key to the land. There was the north, there was the south, but in order to get into the land, they had to go through, <gasps> excuse me, go through Jericho. So they said, we need to find out how to conquer Jericho. And so they spent, they sent two men uh, and they said, go and spy out Jericho and see what you can find and bring us back a report. And so they went into Jericho and uh, they came and they looked around and then suddenly they realized, ooh, we're being chased. We, people realize who we are. And so they went and they ducked into a house and it turns out that it was a house of a harlot. A harlot is a prostitute, a person, a, a woman that sells her body to men not a good reputation or a good occupation. It uh, is a very shameful thing. And yet it was very prevalent, and by the way, is still very prevalent today. But this gal, her name was Rahab, Rahab the harlot. And we read about her throughout the Bible. But this gal invited them in and said, okay, uh, you are being chased, and so let me hide you. And she went and took them them up onto the roof. Now she lived right on the wall because back then the wall was, was very thick, but then right on top of it, there would be, uh, there would, would be homes and, and sometimes not on top of it, but actually in it. And sometimes there would be windows uh, in the house that actually looked out onto the outside of the wall. They would have to be high up so that people couldn't get in. Uh, but uh, this was her house and where it was. And so, uh, but she went up onto the roof, which would have been probably up on the wall. And she hid them and she had them lie down. She covered them up with flax and, and uh, which is kind of a, a, a you know, a, a, a weed, a hay, a straw. And uh, she said, hide under there and, and uh, until I get rid of these, get, these good people. And uh, so there was a knock at the door, and uh, she went in, and she said, uh, yes, who is it? And they said, we're city guards, and we hear that there were two spies from Israel that came in here. And she said, oh, yeah, they came in, but they've left, and they were gone, and, and they went out the gate, and... Uh, and if you hurry, you may catch them. And so they were like, oh, yes, well, let's go. Let's catch them. Let's hurry. And so they went away. And so Rahab went back up on the roof, and she said, okay, it's clear. And they said, why did you protect us? Well, let's take a look at that. And it's in Joshua chapter 2. And uh, take a look in uh, verse 8. And before they were laid down, she came up to them upon the roof, and she said unto them, I know that the Lord hath given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. We are scared to death. Uh, in verse 10, for we have heard how that the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came up out of Egypt and what he did to you to the kings of the Amorites that were on this side of Jordan of Sihon and Og and whom you utterly destroyed. And uh, he, he, she said, we're afraid. And what she is doing is she is saying, listen, I am switching sides. I no longer want to fight for, for uh, Jericho. I want to fight for you. Now, this was being basically a traitor to her people, which is a terrible thing. This was a bad thing for her to do, except for one thing. And that was that there is a higher loyalty than nationality. And that is our loyalty to God. Because God is the God of all nations. All of the nations are down here. We're Americans and we have loyalty to America. And that's an important thing. Until America goes and violates or tells us to do something that God has said, don't do it. Or if America tells us, don't do this, when God has specifically told us, you must do this. 
At that point, we need to disobey America and obey God because our higher loyalty is to God. Now, this is what Rahab was doing. Rahab said, okay, listen, I am acknowledging your God as my God, and therefore, I am aligning with the children of Israel because they are the servants of God. Well, then the spies said, okay, listen, if you will get us out of here. And so she let them down by a red rope uh, down to the ground outside the wall so that they could escape. And they said, I'll tell you what, if you will leave this red rope hanging outside your window, when we come and when we attack Jericho, we will spare you and anybody who is in your house. And, uh, and so you need to keep this rope hanging outside as a demonstration that you still want us to rescue you. And so she did. Now, fast forward. When Israel came and conquered Jericho, they marched around the city, and we'll tell you all about that. But the walls fell inward. Now, keep in mind, her house was on the wall, and yet God spared her house. All the walls fell inward, but God spared her house, and she and the people with her were spared, and God did not kill them, and the children of Israel did not kill them because they had put their faith in God, in Jehovah. So, what have we learned from our lesson today? Well, we have learned that we have a higher loyalty than nationality, and that is our loyalty to God. And so, we need to keep that in mind. Now, we love America. We love, and, and I'll tell you this, being uh, in all of these other countries, we still have the best country in the world. Absolutely. The United States of America is the best. But we have a higher loyalty than our loyalty to America. And that is our loyalty to God. And so keep that in mind. Hey, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.